Oh, welcome back, everybody. Sports Federation TV. And, of course, we're proudly supported by Bashu's. Many of you will remember the Bashu's Cool Drink. The truckies used to come past the house, drop off the cool. Do you remember the Bashu's mm -hmm. Cool Drink? Yes, yeah. it's part of any party. <laughs> Folks, I've got um, Carol Flores and uh, Shanae Jassen with me tonight. We're talking about uh, um, drum majorettes, specifically at the Dr. Van der Ross Primary School at Extension 13? Yes, That's correct. Extension 13, you're going to tell me all about drum majors tonight. But um, did you ever get the little kariki come past the house? And yes, it was part of us for our growing up. You grew yes, up with bashus? Yes. And any party, the bashu bottle was on the table as part of the in the decor. And I out kissy. Yeah, and I out kissy. No gebruik hulle die out kissy vir die fancy mense as I die sin, ja. Ja, sommer met die plante en alles in, ja. Anyway, I'm drinking the the uh, raspberry version and put it on the floor here. Folks, we're speaking now about um, about drum majorettes and, and uh, Shanae is a novice adjudicator at Dr. Van der Ross uh, Primary School. And of course, uh, Carol, you're a, a deputy principal and trainer. You've been teaching um, drum majorettes for a long time now. Yes, we started in 2005 when we were part of Western Province, yeah. uh, USASA. And then from there, we went over to um, SAMCA, okay. um, to the Federation. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and Shanae, how did, you, how did you get started in... in, in did um, did Carol just drag you out of the class one day and say, come, you're, you're, you're going to throw the baton around? <laughs> no, definitely not. I was fascinated mm. by this prop called a mace. Yeah. It is a ester, a metal stokkie wat ons met... Dis hy lang ding met a yes, groot silver kop op boe op wat jy so rol kooi. And I was in what is this thing about? And one um, day after school, they had practice, that was in grade 4 or 5. Yeah. So I checked it out and I saw, okay, this is drummies. And I basically approached the trainer and the week after that, I started doing dramas, and it was from the. Who onwards. was the trainer at the time? Um, yeah. Megan. 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 Also from Dr. Ross Brown? No, she was the head trainer that's not here today. Yeah, okay, My okay. colleague, um, Mauricia Prince. Yeah. She, they were friends. They grew yes. up together, right. and Megan was a. She started with Mrs. McCallum yeah. with dramas. Those were the days. Um, Back in the day. Yes, and then. So, how started. long have you been doing yourself, Carol? Um, we know long time yes it's been long, long time long. yes but and and always and we had other trainers also we had uh, mrs koopman also yeah uh, bianca koopman and then mauricia decided that um they were they weren't teachers at the school i was about to ask you yeah. whether, did, was everybody at the school at the time no, no they weren't teachers they were extra right, right right and then we decided that it's best if the teachers itself start mm. and so mauricia she's she has a western problem Province oh, colors, colors okay. as a trainer. Now she received it now at the last Western Province um, competition just before nationals. So we've got a bit of a video here. Let's take a look at some of the action from uh, the uh, Dr. Van Ross Primary School drum majorettes.
uh, looking at that, I see a lot of girls in the field. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, this is about coordination and clearly okay. timing. What do you look as an adjudicator? What are you looking for? I'm a novice pe penalty judge. So when it comes to penalties, I will definitely check if the prop, if it falls out of line, you will get a penalty. Yeah. If the throw up in the air, it must be a proper split. If they split, it means a 50-50 split. If there's 10 girls, it means there must be 5-5. Five, five. So if I don't see that, the proper split, they will get a penalty. So and how do you see that? What do you look, do you, do you try and get your eyes to see things going? You definitely need to focus. Your eyes must be on the field. Everything they yeah. do, you need to focus. All right. Carol, um, how, how does one become a, an adjudicator? Um, we, we're actually having a problem with adjudicators because there, there's so little uh, adjudicators. I started out also as a novice adjudicator, yeah. but uh, uh, it's not for me. <laughs> no, it's really not for me. So yeah. Sharon Hurst, our head adjudicator, yeah. she um, um, she's telling me all the time, you, you still owe us the exam. So yes, we also know what to do, what, yeah. where, what they look for. Yeah. Um, but yes, many a times you... After your last, com you're just as good as your last competition, so you must go back. And um, luckily for us now, we have Shanae there, so she can also tell us that there you went wrong and this is what's wrong. Do you have to write exams? Do you have to do, yes. do a test? Yes, we have to attend every competition. Yeah. The moment it starts for the year, the new year, you need to attend the competitions, seminars during the week. And basically from the seminars and the on-the-job training, yeah. that's how you basically learn how to do things, what to look at, especially timing as well. All right. So that is one of the things. Carol, um, on a final note, what's next for Dr. Fanner Ross Primary School? Um, it's a very expensive sport. And we, we're really struggling with, with funds and stuff for the, for the little ones. Uh, but the children want to do drummies. And yeah. um, all over, it's, a, it's very expensive and we don't get any funds from, from uh, the department or so. We, we rely on the parents and we rely yeah, on You, of course, fundraisers. form part of the ma majorettes yes, and cheerleading yes, group, right? Yes, all right. yes. So yeah. we eight uh, primary schools and there's the high schools. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we will see what whole uh, 2018 holds for us uh, but we're going that there's learners who's going now for the western province colors um uh, the weekend of the 14 15? 15th october okay so we hope to get new um western province girls yeah. and then we keep thumbs for our for our hope she's hoping on getting a, <laughs> a, 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 a protea colors oh, now wow. okay, yeah. so yes that is the yeah. way forward now and some of them are also going for the Samka colors the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And then we're starting January again with new girls. We have girls from grade R, um, um, but they're not supposed to take part in competitions, but we're training, training them now you. to be yeah. part. So next year we're starting with the grade ones, two, three. Now you can imagine, they're very little. Yeah. And so, but they're very good. But they so love it. Yes, yes, they love it. Yeah. And yes, we're very... Um, but they're so cute, man. They're like, yes, they're only really like, uh, they're like, come up to your knee. Yeah. And then Some they wear the big hat. Up, and yes. called the Busby. The yeah. Busby, yeah. They, that's the same as the, the British, yeah. the British yeah. uh, soldiers, huh? <laughs> that's Absolutely. That's all that. I mean, I yeah. And they don't need to stand. They don't need to stand. But, yeah. but yeah. We, we, we're coming a long way. And yeah. we're getting there. We, mm. Yes, we're getting there. All right. Uh, we're going to leave it at that, Shane. Best of luck. Uh, hopefully, Thank you're not you going to so be much. too strict on these young girls. I have to. Yep. We have to. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> and Carol, thanks. Best of luck at um, at the primary school, Dr. Van der Ross Primary School, Thank Extension you so uh, much. 13. 18. Yes. Thank you. In Bell Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And All right, folks, that's a wrap from me here on Sports Federation TV. Uh, Lenyuk Tachetti will be back, back next week. We hope that you've enjoyed it this evening. And remember uh, to look out for all of the sports that are wearing this logo that you see behind me is the provincial logo. That's the Western Cape provincial logo. When they wear, any athlete out there wears that logo, then they have achieved provincial colors, legitimate provincial colors. That's a wrap from us. We'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Have a fantastic sporting weekend. Bye-bye.